Hello Rift fans and welcome back to the Rift Archive in the Plain Touched Wilds. This is the continuation of part three and this is the dreaded box quest. The theory of Shalastiri. Actually I've been thinking. We heard what Ul said and we believed her because she's a revered ancestor. But she's not the ancestor. Not the ones we swear to. Not the ones that can make the wilds Terminus with another elemental plane. We should ask the Shalastiri. They have true power, and though they don't seem to like to interfere with us, they are no friend to Teth. Maybe they know how to free us from this curse on the sword and the curse on the land. Sons want you to seek the aid of the Shalastiri ancestors to help separate them and take them to safety. And you'll get gear. Don a crate disguise and steal the Tome of Mysticism. This is by far one of the hardest quests I have ever done in this game. It's not paranoid if the demon is truly So we go over to the big, big building. And you go over here in the corner where the boxes are. Oh no, I, w I don't want them out. And you pick up a box. And you are a box! Look at a box! And as a box, a bouncy box, I have to get to the top of this, which means I have to go all the way through here, up the stairs, and all the way back. And these guys move, and if they see you, they kick you back to the front. They kick you out right where you pick up the box, I think. And you cannot go this way. It is. See the book? We're very close. Turn away. Yeah. All right, here we go. My walker is gone. Just wait for my friend here. Yeah, that's what he should do, and then he should go back. That's not what he's doing. He's got... F he's more random than I thought. We're 
We're gonna hurry by him anyway. We're gonna jump. I say, where's that, that jerky guy? He's up there. kind of close. Go out by her. She's a safe place. Up here is a safe place. Over by this guy's a safe place because he's sitting, he doesn't move. Ta da! Ta da! Brilliant. Where am I going? Is that court? I'm going to court. Okay. Let's go to court. Is it not up here? Is it below me? It's below me. Let's see. Ah, there it is. It's very interesting and disturbing. Oop, somebody's gonna kill me. I didn't buff up either. That's it. Okay. We're good to go. Examine the Tome of Mysticism. And where might the Tome of Mysticism be? In. Oh, that place all the way over there. Okay. All right, let's see what this book says. In order to contact the Shalasiri, one requires four items. The first is Sky Whale Ambergris, located in the windswept buffs. Second is the eyes of an Uker. Those should be in Ovog. Third is a mask of the ancestor, also at the Ovog shrine. Finally, we have a Tep Diptera. You can find them in the windswept butts from the moths. You can find them in the windswept butts from the moths. Okay, you're going to send me on a scavenger hunt. I'm all right with that. Eye of Ochre, Mask of an Ancestor. Sky Whale, Sky Whale, Sky Whale. What is this? Acquire Tepth. I think we need to go there. That seems to be the place to go. Oh! A quest. Salmon Tath. That's a name. 
I humbly ask for your help. Krill or be krilled. Krill are disgusting, with the antennae and all the legs. But they serve a purpose by devouring waste material and being food for the sky whales. When a sky whale dies, it becomes a nursery for the krill. This hasn't occurred, been occurring though, so we use the sky whale's body for many things, so the krill have been dwindling. The sickly sky whales are of no use to us. Weaken them, then use this putrefaction vial to kill them. It will rapidly cause decomposition and create a breeding ground for the k krill. Is it, uh, not th May your way yeah, I'll do it, but not right now. Oh, they said something about the butterflies. Do I have to kill the butterfly? Let's ditch this. We'll do that another time. That's an interesting thing. What is this? Sky whale. Amber jet. Okay. Kill them. Oh, there you go. That was easy. Ovog, and where's the other thing? Oh, they're both in Ovog. Moving very slow. We need to put our booties on. There. It says it's right here. Oh, I see. Oh, apparently I can't jump up to them. Oh, I thought I was going to get stuck. Can I just reach them from the ground? Yes, I can. That's the eyes of an ooker. And now we need to go get the mask of a something. Oh, it was just right there. Again, I make things harder than they need to be, because, I guess, reasons. Because reasons! Arrive at the ritual. And where might the ritual be? All the way the heck up. Okay, I've arrived at the ritual. Light the candles to begin. Those are, oh, those are the teeth. Okay. Do I have to light all the candles? Yes, I do. You bet I do. Wait for Sons and Zal to complete the ritual. I bring the gifts of Ambergris, the eyes of an Uker, the mask of an ancestor. I sacrifice an incarnation of our enemy. Let this worm die 
so that we may live. I call forth Sarush, Lord of Obligations, ancestor to the Bami. Okay, now we're praying. I'm summoned by primal rights and I obey. Where are you? Who dares call me from my palace among the clouds? Who dares demand service of a Shalastiri lord? We do with great reverence, O mighty Sarush. You once helped your descendants by binding our home to your sky. Help us once more to break the Great Wheel. Where is he? The Great Wheel cannot be broken by my word. The monster that gnaws at the center is too numerous. It will take great sacrifice to remove it, to break the wheel at the turning point. And free us of this curse of Queen Nar. This is Sun's Gazar, Keeper of the Radiance. I am Shal Zulam, who was to be the next keeper. Help us to face the monster Teth, unburdened by this curse. Oh, my children's children's children. You are so beautiful, it saddens me to see you suffer. The blade called Razdara, the right edge of destiny, is sharp enough to end the curse. Zal will wield it at the turning point and the bonds will be severed. Thank you, mighty Sarush. Ascended when Zal severs the bond, it will be up to you to break the wheel. Of course it will. Apparently I do nothing. Eh, you just wait, buddy. No, sons, you will do the most to defeat the demon. May winds carry you to victory or paradise. Farewell, my children. Okay, we listen to the prophecy of the wilds. Will you stay here in the wilds? Woe is me. I know this Razdara. It is a relic from when the wilds was first in Talara, a blade from the plane of earth, part of a set. It is owned by Shuvu Setseg, the thief who runs the woeful magpies. Only those who belong to that gang of bandits are permitted to see him. However, we are two powerful primalists, and the ascended here is a formidable being. If we could somehow demonstrate that we shared the values of these thugs, I am sure we would get an audience. We need to go convince the leader of something to do something. Oh, by committing cool crimes in Woe. It's not paranoid if the demon is truly trying to get you. How did they get such a magic blade? The blade once belonged to the dragon Latheus, queen, queen of greed and avarice. Yes, I know. She's pretty. That's it? Okay. Oh, we're slow today. So it can end our curse? Naturally, the magpie sought it out. It is a very sharp blade. Its brother, Razahan, the left edge of destiny was said to be able to cut through to the plains. Yes, it will indeed do that. Are we good? Are we good? I'd like to go. Welcome to Woe. Lead sons and Zal to Woe. talk to somebody. And go talk to the, the bartender. We balmy are known for our quality goods. Oh my goodness, they wrote a novel. Sons, I heard you had a price on your head. Don't worry, I'm not fool enough to try anything. I've seen you fight. Plus, you're palling around with the great one. Only one reason you come back to this town after what happened last time. You want something from the magpies. They've been getting bolder since we've gotten back to Talara. Planning to take over all these new cities. They figure if they can rob the plains, then Talara will be easy pickings. 
So the best way to get their attention is to commit a lot of crimes. The Bat Brothers can help you there. If you've got the stomach for it, talk to Gempt. He's got the info on all the choice crimes that the magpies need taken care of. If you are still the same pain in the rear that you've always been, you might want to talk to Naes. Naes? Naes? Naes. He's still trying to clean up this town. Either brother will help you get the magpie's attention. It dep just depends on whether or not you are actually a criminal. Oh, I guess I have a choice. That's a new one. And what happened to the crying person? And why were they crying? Like, these people are happy. They're not crying. I, I don't I know. Commit crimes for the Bat Brothers. Well, that's interesting. Do I want to be a criminal, or do I want to clean up woe? Well? I don't know. Do I want to get rid of this foothold? Why, yes. Yes, I want to get rid of this foothold. I thought there was one over here. Yeah, he's over there. Why are you bothering over there, buddy? You leave that poor citizen alone. Where are they? Or am I blind? Up oh, there's one. Friend of Woe. And then I guess his brother... ...is around the corner. Yeah. Magpie Racketeer. Let's see what he wants me to do. Oh, I actually remember doing this. Do you revere the ancestors? Neither do we. It's hard to maintain a good criminal syndicate when people put too much faith in local religion. So we take to petty vandalism. It lets the common bomby know who's on top, the magpies or the ancestors. I remember doing that. With the speed of the wind. What does the other guy want me to do? So I guess the last time I did this, I was a criminal. Shame, Josanne. You can do better. Friend of Woe. Well. I humbly ask for your help. The magpies want to know that you can hold your own in a fight. Not a fight against a monster, but that you're willing to beat up some random guy on the street. Luckily, there are still all these polymorph babaroos infesting the town. Why not drive them out instead of being cruel to real people? Sure. May your way be clear. Ascended intimidation. Remove babaroos from well. Are you a babaroo? I guess not. Oh, you are a babaroo. I see. So all the suspicious newcomers are babaroos. Maybe. See that rock over there? That one. Really, sons? Yes. Can we get past the rock? It was a 16-legged scorpion-like creature with the face of a child. It recognized me and skittered away. I presumed to tell one of its soul siblings of my presence. I struck at it with my sword, empowered with the ancestor's will, and it exploded. I never could get the ichor out of that blade. I think... I ran into an incarnation around here as well. Yes, over there in that clearing, it was like a tiny dwarf. A tiny dwarf? Weird, isn't it? It wore a strange hat and did a little dance, and then it started to question me about my name. What did you do? I've been taught the ways of demons. When one asks for your true name, you kill it with fire. So I did. Okay. Yeah, 
I'm not gonna skip them. only gives me one. That explains why I did this other one. I don't like the looks of this guy at all. He just, I don't, I don't like him at all. Hear my plea ascended. All right, let's go. Vandalize things. That's the little dot. Oh, the other brother. This stone. Okay. I guess I'm not close enough. This stone. There you go. That wasn't very nice. Oh, there's a bucket there. Maybe. You have to use it where there's a bucket. I didn't even notice there was a bucket. Nope. Oh, I see. That was part of the quest. I didn't even notice the buckets. I am so oblivious. Yeah. I'll take that, thank you. There's the quest. You do me honor. Fly a spirit kite. Ascended, it is good you came by. I am comradey. Guys in camaraderie spirit keeper of these planes. Since returning to Talar, the air spirits inhabiting the spirit kites have started to become unstable, even hostile towards us. Sadly, there is nothing we can do for their physical forms, but we can commit their spirits to the wind where they can be purified and reborn in the next generation. Please kill corrupted spirit kites, then use this wind-blessed fan to send their spirits on their way. Go with the speed of the wind. Okay, so... You kill the kite. Find the kite. And then you do that to it. So I don't know what I want. You must be facing your target. Well, that worked. Take two. Yeah, it has to be dead, right? Cleanse spirit kite. I have to do this ten times. All right. Yeah. Does this have to eat our karma? Yes. He takes what is good about us, our radiance, and instead of it returning fortune to us, it invites disaster. I'm surprised you don't know this. It's the foundation of primalism. The intentions of fury and cunning don't produce radiance, but when applied properly, they can lead to harmony. 
Thank you so much for Acolyte explaining it to me. Why did I learn to control molten lava with my unbridled fury when you could have just stated the obvious to my enemies? You should have used sarcasm to control lava. We would have beaten Teth years ago. I was asking if you think Teth literally eats the karma. Like, he sits down in his yurt, takes some karma out of the larder, and fries it up in a pan. It seems to have the physical form of a gem. I have seen creatures eat rock, so anything is possible. Oh, actually, he keeps it in a vault. A big, magical one. The Ascended and I robbed it together. Leave me some of that karma. Yes, we did. Why didn't you tell me this in the first place? I hate both of you. Hear my plea, Ascended. Thank you. And I hear the wind spirits you freed thanking you as well. Yes, it's Trust very nice. Your companions. It's very nice. We are going... Turn to jumped and well. You do me honor. Ah, that was some good brushwork. Those heads of the ancestors look ridiculous. Now they know who runs this town. Oh yeah, that was really threatening. Go with confidence. Speak with the leader of the magpies. Sons Gazar, what a pain in the ancestors you are. Now you have turned to a life of crime. Ha 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 ha! How the noble have fallen. We just want to borrow the Razdara Shivu. No trouble. I guess that's it. Okay. Teth Baradeshi says, I have eyes everywhere ascended. The Razdara is mine, and soon the wilds will fall. Where are you? Ascended, I will taste the radiant blood of suns. The wheel turns. And everybody's dead. Collect Razdara. Talk to sons outside of Woe. On the other side of Woe. Hi, sons. Will you stay here in the wilds? The blade is just as I remember it. I have wielded this once before, and it brings me no joy to hold it again. Zal will carry it until we find the right time to use such a terrible weapon. Thanks for watching, folks. See you soon.